Greetings, greetings, greetings once again, my sports to the bone people. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. And you know, I just have some information in this one that I want to share. So, yesterday on our live show, a couple of people were asking about um, the Four Nights Academy, something that involves four of our past cricketers, Sir Curtly Ambrose, Sir Viv Richards. Sir Andy Roberts and um, Richard Richardson, right? They are the ones that form the Four Nights, um, the Four Nights uh, Academy. So uh, Richard Richardson recently did an interview and he was talking about it. So I'm going to be sharing that. So just give a listening ear. Um, you know, I'm going to give my opinion as it relates to whether or not this is something that CWI should look to invest in or this is something that will just phase out after a while. So just hit that subscribe button while you listen, while you listen and um, make sure that you leave a comment so I can know um, what you are thinking about where this topic is concerned. So I am taking this one from the Antigua Observer. So this is not my information. All credit goes to the Antigua Observer. So the headline says, Four Nights Academy anticipates noticeable movement by year's end. So I'm going to do some reading and then I'll come in with my commentary. So it says, one of the principals behind the Four Nights Academy, Sir Richard Richardson, is predicting that the uh, initiative could be up and fully functional by the end of the year. They are saying that he believes that, um, well, they, they, they had a relaunch on Saturday night based on what I am, uh, I am hearing. And for those who aren't aware, this is an initiative that they came up with all the way back in 2015. Didn't last, you know, so apparently they are relaunching it. So let me go down into it and hear what he's saying. So this is Sir Richard Richardson, and I quote, We're hoping that before the end of this year, we can see something tangible happening. We, get, we, have, uh, we have to meet with a few people. We initially met with the cricket with cricket West Indies. Um, he's saying that uh, we initially met with cricket West Indies and the government of Antigua and Barbuda, who had agreed to partner with us. Hmm. So we are going to reach out to them again, so um, to see exactly what the role they are in, what the role, what role and position they are willing to play. But it is important. For us to work with Cricket West Indies because it is all about development of cricket in the West Indies, he said. End quote. Um, so that is Richie Richard, some of viewers and subscribers. So if you are wondering if this is something that CWI supports, there you have it. He's saying that when they initially spoke about it, CWI had said that they were going to partner with them. So I guess it would mean that these four guys would be the head of the academy, but more than likely they would be bringing in um, coaches identified by themselves, you know, to really help um, groom youngsters. I don't know. I don't know any my peeps. You see, the thing with this now, you know, West Indies already have a cricket academy. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult to share the budget or to share um, money, you understand, between academies. Uh, they say they would partner with them, don't know in what way. You know, I probably CWI are going to want to say, listen, we already have our academy going. It would be good to have you guys just coming in and working with the academy. But based on how things are lining up, it seems as if these four knights here want to run um, something on their own. So, you know, as I said, it's, it's, it, it, it would definitely be good for, for, for Cricket West Indies because these guys are, are, are you know, they would have played the game at the highest level. They have the knowledge and we, 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 we think that they would be able to pass on the knowledge to the youngsters. But, you know, just looking at it from, from my angle right here, I'm not too sure how, how CWI would be able to um, budget for the two academies like that. And um, partner with could mean that, you know, they just be a part of the thing. Doesn't necessarily mean they have to pump a lot of cash in it or anything. So they say, um, introduced, um, Following the 2014 general election, they say the Four Nights Academy was um, uh, it, it was actually put together by by the country's former international cricketers, and you know they say Viv Richards, as I said earlier, Sir Andrew Roberts, Curtly Ambrose, and Richie Richardson. So initially, this started back in 2014. You understand, going into 2015, but 
you know it, it didn't live too long you understand um so they they are looking to to get it done they say the relaunch was follow um was the was held following the third place match between um the pigots and the Bolands in the cool and smooth t20 uh explosion at the sir vivian richard stadium on saturday so sir richard richardson is also saying that the funding is something that is probably their the biggest obstacle so this is him right here and i quote the most important thing now is to form linkages with partners and get sponsorship so we could uh, create platform to go forward he's saying we basically have a coach in place already but we will need funding we already have the support um the supporter the supporter in the cool and smooth and we will be reaching out to others right so he's saying we have had some um good interest shown and some of whom showed up tonight i think he's talking about that cool and smooth thing that they were they were having there you know are willing to 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 to, to stay on board he's saying once we have got certain things in place then we would be able to start coach the coaching aspect of the academy and then put all uh, the other aspects in place but you know they're anticipating a big a big um they're anticipating something tangible by the end of the year you understand um the former sports minister ep chet thing there what's his name chet greeny hope i'm pronouncing it correctly you know he the, the four nights cricket academy was originally introduced by 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 his government um back in 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 you know a couple of years ago um but it was in 2018 it was announced that the four nights uh cricketers would take full control of the project so they start it, it was a government started thing and then you know back in 2018 they announced that the four nights the guys that i just announced would be taking charge so i don't know my viewers and subscribers as i said it's always good to have help it's always good to see you know the guys wanting to to, to support uh west indies cricket but um my thing is this uh, it's always good to have academies uh, you know um cwi they are not always going to 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 to, to be able to um invite everybody into their academy who they identified identify as players to focus on maybe the four nights academy don't identify those players and you know would still have a larger group of guys and probably every now and again we can have uh, the, the west indies academy going up against the four nights academy and you know getting the guys playing some cricket and thing uh, based on what i'm seeing here the funding is probably going to be the the, the the biggest issue you understand the names that are connected with this thing you know th those names can probably sell the, the Rich Richards and the, the Viv Richards, the Kurt Lambros, the Andrew Roberts, you know, those names probably cancel and in and, 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 and gather interest, you know, but um, I, I am just worried about um, the funding that will be pumped into this thing to keep it going for on, on the long term. I mean, it. I think that they will have enough interest to start it up, but, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know how the funding would look um, to keep something like this going, but um, this is definitely something good if they are able to get it up and running and keep it um going and and and, and you know being able to, to 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 produce cricketers so um for those who are asking i hope that answer answers the, the, the questions um where this thing is concerned so yeah that is pretty much it for this one my peeps we're gonna leave it right here and we will touch base again pretty soon big up